Organized by the American Institute of Architects, the Pittsburgh 2030 District is one of the most ambitious sustainability goals in the world. Here in Pittsburgh, we accept that challenge. Widely known as the Steel City, our roots are built upon a legacy of industry and prosperity. Unfortunately, that growth also came with heavy pollution, but today, Pittsburgh is considered by many as one of the greenest cities in the country. The Pittsburgh 2030 District is emblematic of that environmental transformation. The district is a local community of high-performance buildings in downtown Pittsburgh. On average, buildings account for 40% of primary energy consumption in the U.S., so making them more efficient is a great next step in continuing our sustainable leadership. So what are we trying to do? Existing buildings target a 50% reduction below the national average in energy use and a 50% reduction below the district average in water use and transportation CO2 emissions all by 2030. New buildings have to have an immediate 60% energy reduction below the national average and a 50% reduction below the district average in water use and transportation emissions, with each attaining incremental targets reaching carbon neutrality by 2030. Carbon neutrality is the ultimate goal for every newly constructed building in the district. That means Pittsburgh will be well on its way to eliminating its net release of carbon in the atmosphere by 2030. And with help from the Green Building Alliance, the City of Pittsburgh has positioned itself to meet these goals. Green Building Alliance is a nonprofit organization committed to making the places where we live, work, learn, and play healthy and high performing. Uh, we were founded in 1993. We're one of the oldest regional green building organizations in the country. Uh, we recently became a U.S. Green Building Council chapter, and we're celebrating 20 years in 2013. Well, Pittsburgh's always been a leader in green buildings. Um, Pittsburgh had three of the first 13 uh, LEED certified buildings in the country. Um, PNC Bank, which is an international leader in green buildings, has more LEED certified newly constructed buildings than any corporation in the world. Uh, the city and the county have been committed to green and sustainability for a long time, founding the Green Government Task Force in 2006, uh, and it just seemed like a logical next step for what we were doing here. The David L. Lawrence Convention Center is a perfect example of Pittsburgh's leadership in terms of green buildings. It just got recertified in 2012 under LEED for Existing Buildings Operations and Maintenance, making it Pittsburgh's first double LEED certified space, um, and it's leading the convention industry in its sustainability practices. So property owners are integral to the success of the Pittsburgh 2030 District. Uh, it's property owners and managers who are making the commitment to the Pittsburgh 2030 District's goals, um, and they're the ones who are going to be implementing changes in the next 17 years. Of the 400 buildings downtown, we have about a quarter committed to the Pittsburgh 2030 District goals today. We anticipate and hope that by the year 2030, we'll have every single property in downtown working towards 2030 goals. Uh, we have 30 community and resource partners that are already working towards uh, supporting property partners in their goals. We also have two city authorities that are committed to the 2030 district. That includes uh, the Sports and Exhibition Authority of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. And so the Pittsburgh Pirates, Steelers, and Penguins have all individually committed their stadiums to 2030 goals as well. Yeah. The Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority is also working with us to create the water baseline for the district. So every building in the district knows what their baseline is that they're working to get 50% below. Well, downtown, the city of Pittsburgh has three facilities. We have the Municipal Courts Building, Medic 14 Rescue 2, that's located on the Boulevard of the Allies in the City County Building. Uh, the roof that is going to be put on is uh, going to be a white roof on the City County Building. And we are also looking at doing a power purchase agreement so we can now start offsetting some of that electrical use. And we're doing a pilot project on the sixth floor where we are going to be sub-metering and trying to identify some of the ways to, to cut some of those costs. In 2007, we formed a group to look uh, at the, uh, the city as a whole and create a climate action plan. Uh, from the climate action plan, that rolled into uh, the Office of Sustainability and Energy Efficiency, where we saw the hiring of a energy and utilities manager and a sustainability coordinator. Created the uh, Western Pennsylvania Energy Consortium, We've done solar thermal installations, PV installations. Um, we've also done an LED streetlight conversion project where we have over 40,000 streetlights that the city owns that are being converted from high pressure sodium to LED. Those types of conversions see an estimated savings about 60%, which is a huge dollar amount for the city of Pittsburgh. Sustainable Pittsburgh is proud to be an active community partner and participant in collaborating to help the city achieve its uh, 2030 district goals. We offer a program called the Green Workplace Challenge that complements all of the programs that are offered through the 2030 district. Whereas the 2030 district is a long-term plan for each building in the 2030 district area, the Green Workplace Challenge offers support and programming for tenants, 
and people who occupy those spaces so that they can start making progress in saving energy and saving money. Collaboration has been the key for Pittsburgh's transformation over the past 30 years, and the good news is, is that going forward it can only get stronger because of the capacities that we have here. For example, uh, Pittsburgh was struggling 20, 25, 30 years ago, and it was the coming together of the private sector, nonprofits, foundations, and city leadership to help transform our region because now we're one of the leading examples for how a region transforms itself. And you can see the evidence in specific projects. Phipps Conservatory, a regional cultural gem, it's one of the, the leading examples of how sustainability can be the result of really smart initiatives involving a public-private partnership. So it's wonderful to see our region and our city moving ahead, and there's only bright prospects ahead for us because the strength of the collaboration is only going to get better. Come see how we're taking the lead as the nation's most livable city right now.